Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today Libra, you guys got Let Spirit Be Your Guide number 32 in reverse. I honestly am kind of getting, um, there's like this meme where, have you ever seen that meme where it's like God is holding a teddy bear and the little girl's holding a teddy bear and then they're like, oh, just trust me, get, get, like, if you let go of that one, I'll give you something so much better. And the little girl's like, I don't want to let go though. Like, I don't want to get rid of this because um you know like i love it so much and like oh don't worry i have something better and it's like the same exact teddy bear but like very big right that's kind of what i'm getting with this it's like if you do something that you're being guided to do something better comes in for you libra that's why i'm kind of getting with this it's like as soon as this ending comes you don't understand what's coming afterward but you're like hesitant to let something go or you're hesitant to let a cycle go so let's pull more on what it is that you're afraid to let go of because i i'm honestly getting that like spirit has something set up for you and i feel like a lot of you guys are like nah um i just want to keep trying my own thing like i want to keep going in the direction i'm going in and spirit's like trust me i have a better plan for you and you're just like eh, no i'm gonna keep trying so that's what i'm getting let's pull more cards on this libra Okay, Libra, I'm getting for you guys that you guys, um, there's something that you're dealing with that you don't, you kind of know you shouldn't need to deal with or you don't have to deal with anymore. Do you get what I'm saying? It's kind of like you're very certain that something is probably over. And a lot of you guys, this could be a relationship, this could be a job, this is anything, um, for a lot of you guys, I think it's union, though. I think it's a relationship. And I feel like this is not like, oh, you're just dating someone and then you, like, break up with them and you date someone else. No, I feel like there's been an ending that's been trying to come in for a while um, between you and this person. I'm getting a Page of Swords energy in reverse with a Queen of Pentacles. This person could have air... Um, this person could have earth in their chart but i'm also i'm honestly getting that this is you and this is them so uh, somebody else had this in their read i think it was virgo this page of swords in reverse and i feel like you're dealing with similar energy where this is somebody who again they say a lot of beautiful things but they don't they there's no action put behind it or they like promise you a lot of things but they can't really complete it or not even they're not even maybe even saying enough um <laughs> the things that they need to say like they're not putting enough of themselves out on the line for you i just feel like this is the the difference in energy between the two of you it's like you're offering them so much stability and so much love and so much support and this person offers you literally nothing so um i'm getting with this it's like this is the relationship that i feel like you already know has to come to some sort of ending here that's what i'm getting here um and it's interesting because we have the emperor with the five of wands in reverse with the seven of wands so it's kind of like as soon as you take you as soon as you make the decision that like this has to end and I'm getting for a lot of you guys, this has already ended, but I'm getting like some, some of you guys still might be friends or some of you guys might still kind of like talk to this person or some of you guys might still kind of like hope that this person comes back around and you're energetically still like corded to them. Like this is maybe like you guys should do a cutting because I feel like this probably came to an end for a lot of you guys where you're kind of just like, you know what, I don't, I don't, we're not really dealing with each other anymore, but we're still kind of friends. We're still kind of talk. And I'm getting here that like, this needs to really be put to an end end like energetically caught and everything because i'm getting that there's an ember like literally sitting right there and that's exactly what i was saying like there's something like as soon as it comes to an end something really good comes right in and i feel like that's and it's like literally the next card <laughs> like it's literally the next card after the emperor comes in um with no blockages no excuses so it's like you want to manifest this person who doesn't make excuses you want to manifest a person who is sitting in emperor energy with seven of wands someone who is an emperor who wants you and only you right 
and it's and it's more than just wanting you it's wanting to put the work in it's wanting to put like work into a relationship and i feel like that's what you're really trying to like procure here especially with the ten of cups you're like really like okay i can really manifest this i can do this but i feel like what's coming in a little bit of the way of your manifestation coming in is this person from the past or this energy from the past that you have to kind of lay to rest so it could be a specific person maybe it's just doubt and fear in your mind um i'm getting that it's a person for a lot of you guys that like you're still holding on to a little bit but i'm getting that like you're it's up to you right now to take this opportunity and right now you might not have anything to like hold on to right it's like you like the idea of having a person around so it's like even though this is not somebody that you're dealing with like in a maybe love way you still like the fact that you two are friends or you still like the fact that like you can still hit this person up and this person's still kind of around and that's what i'm saying like this has to really be coming to an end because i see like there's an emperor literally on their way there's an emperor literally like behind the door like ready to come in and i'm getting here that like the only thing maybe stopping it energetically is you yeah i'm yelling it, it, it's you <laughs> with this four of cups here like it's you it's you that's kind of stopping it and i don't think you mean to stop it i think it's just again like maybe you just don't like the idea of you know maybe you know you and this person have some sort of conversation once in a while and you know things with this person maybe start to get a little bit hopeful like you know you start to feel like maybe this person in me could work this out maybe this person in me you know you start to see a glimmer of hope here and this is what they don't want because there's somebody so much better coming in and it's kind of like you're wasting your time energetically with this person and i'm getting here that you have to step into this maiden energy so maiden energy is like, again, kind of like a fool, fool energy, not necessarily concerned with what the future has to bring, right? So if you're holding on to this person who's a little bit like toxic or just, you know, a waste of time, you're just doing it because you're afraid, right? You're afraid um, maybe that you couldn't do better or you're afraid that, you know, you're not going to find anybody or there's something that you're afraid of. And that's why you keep this person around. That's what I'm getting. And it's like, in order to kind of get into the right energy for this new person to come in you guys have to step into maiden energy and maiden energy is not at all concerned with the future the maiden is very much in the present so i feel like that is really the big issue or like the key here to like unlocking the door that's coming for you have two aces here with union um and i do think it's gonna be a challenge like i don't think it's gonna make you feel balanced you just putting all your cards out it's kind of like throwing it's kind of like if you have a safety deposit box or like you have something like how do i explain it um it's kind of like if you have something saved and stored yeah it's kind of like if you had something stored for the future right like you know you never know when the emergency is gonna happen so like let me store it let me save it i feel like that's what you're doing with this person you're like you know what um this person's like good to have in the back of my bag or in the back of my you know like in my book um my address book like it's just good to have this person around like they can always be my backup like i kind of feel like the vines like this is a terrible backup one <laughs> like you don't need this person at all but they want you to kind of throw away the backup plan that you have or the backup of anything because it's like in order to really be in this maiden energy you have to be in an energy of like I don't have any backup plan. I have nothing but what I am doing right now. Like I'm putting, I'm betting it all on right now, like the present right now. And that's it. Um, and it, like, you're not dragging this person behind. I feel like somebody's dragging like a safe behind them. <laughs> um, like you're dragging something to make you feel secure. But at the end of the day, it's like, you don't need it. <sighs> yeah. They're telling you like, so you're going to walk into your wish fulfillment and into a much more balanced time. As soon as you make the decision here as soon as you make the decision so it's similar to virgo's read because virgo had something about um someone coming back in from the past or just someone coming in and i feel like you guys are at the same point where you have someone kind of here um with the emperor in the center of wands you have someone here and then this is the ten of cups so it's like someone is already here or energetically they're just like right there and it's only up it's like up to you though I get I get why you kind of keep this person around though with the queen of coins energy I feel like you like that security that this person offers you like it's kind of like a friendship where 
you know, you guys are always there for one another. You always have always been around. You, you've been around this person for such a long time. They offer you some sort of security. And I think you guys like that idea. So not the idea, just you actually just like that. But in the end of the day, like, I think it kind of holds you back from the new. You know, like sometimes we just need a fresh start. And sometimes we have to just kind of. I'm getting you just have to let this person go. So Libra, let's see if there's any more advice for you guys in terms of what you guys need to do in order for this new opportunity to come your way. There's something like, but it's like you already see the truth. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know you see the truth. I know for a lot of you guys, it's just like a sense of security that this person offers you. Let's see. I want to pull more on like this page of swords in reverse. And I want to pull a little bit more on this ace of swords. What's the page of swords in reverse? And now, what's, what does Libra need to see? Yeah, I feel like everything associated with this person, this page of swords in reverse, is like negative i'm also getting like some of you guys might also just put yourself down like you put yourself down yourself like this might not even be another person this could just be yourself like you're actually sitting in a very stable spot but you yourself stress yourself out like you're like well i'm not doing this enough and i'm not doing that enough and i'm maybe i'm not good enough for this and like you bring yourself down some of you guys and there needs to be more love for yourself but again, whether this be a person or yourself, it's just creating anxiety. It's just creating like a mess here in the mind mentally. That's what I was saying. It was like, it's a mental comfort maybe for this person to be there. Maybe it's a mental comfort for you guys to also just put yourselves down so that you guys, you know, it's like, you know, how can I assure myself that I can't get disappointed. Well, I'll just, you know, say that it's never gonna happen for me and that's it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like a lot of you guys play these mental games with yourself um, and it just shows a lack of love for yourself either dealing with this person or the way that you talk to yourself and treat yourself It shows like a lack of love for yourself um, And I'm and I'm getting here like this is like barren like I'm getting a land that's like dry There's nothing here in this cycle left for you And I feel like a lot of you guys know that it's like you're sitting here in this five of pentacles Meanwhile, you can sh you can be aiming for the stars you can be going in this this direction of the star um, So that's what I'm getting for you guys It's like you have to get into that maiden energy where it's like, okay, I'm gonna go out on this journey journey without any type of like safety net without anything like backed up and i'm just gonna go and see what i get and i'm telling you they're telling you that there's an empress here an emperor here that wants to put in work with you that will want to put in work with you and that they're part of your ten of cups so i definitely see like this love is not far away but it's like again what you choose for yourself and what you choose like for your life and um i know it's really scary though i get this a lot like i get this reading a lot because i get how this person brings some sort of comfort to you even though they put they bring more anxiety in your life than anything there's something that like makes you feel comforted by their presence and i'm just getting that it's like time to cut them out because they're holding you back so let's pull some advice for you guys so libra you guys got my bago the warrior saint I'm a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Exactly. You're literally, they're telling you to let go of this person or let go of whatever this is that you're kind of carrying around because everything that you need is going to be provided for you. So this is kind of this like mentality of like, well, you know, I, I can't, I'm not going to get enough where I'm going. So I have to kind of take shit with me. And they're kind of saying, no, you're going to have exactly what you need, exactly where you're going. Like, trust us. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is like basically based on your ability to trust. Like, how much do you trust in the divine? You know what I mean? How much do you trust in them providing 
what you need in the new cycle coming in. They already have this like planned out for you and locked down, I feel. Like this is an actual thing just for you. Um, and it's a new opportunity for you. And I feel like they want you to see the truth. The truth is like you're carrying around something that you don't need anymore. And the truth is like, again, you're thinking that they can't provide for you what you need. Um, like you have to provide it for yourself. And this is kind of like that trust in the divine. Like, do you trust that the divine is going to provide it for you when you leave this other thing behind? Okay. And then you have romance and innocence. Again, I honestly see like such good energy coming for you. You have union as your last card. So it's like, you're going to get everything that you want. It's just like, do you trust in the ability of that? Like, do you trust in the divine? You know what I mean? To provide it for you. So I think like a lot of you guys are like, no, it's not that I don't trust in the divine. It's like, I don't trust myself. But at the end of the day, I think it's more of the divine that you don't have trust for. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think a lot of you guys are like, oh, yeah, I trust the divine, I trust the divine. But it's like, I just want to take this person with me just in case. Because, like, you never know. And it's like, no. <laughs> and they're like, it's either you take this person out and you go forward and you trust blindly. Or you just keep this person around and you never really finish out the cycle. And this is full energy with innocence. And, like, again, maiden. I really feel like they're really going to provide everything for you guys. You guys have to, like... They're saying, like, trust in them. They're here twice. Like, you have to trust in them. Like, that, like that's the only way that the cycle ends. And that's the only way that you're going to have the confidence to leave whatever this is behind. So, yeah, Libra, this is a big deal because I feel like, again, a lot of you guys don't want to get rid of this. And this is actually, like, what's holding everything back. So, whether you believe it or not, you're going to attract everything that you need and they are going to provide you everything that you need. But you have to believe in that to let this go. So you have a tough task here, but I do see them providing what you desire. So it's like, do you trust in them to let this go? And do you trust in them to provide this for you or not, basically? So that's what I'm getting, Libra. I love you guys. I hope that this helps and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.